Uh, when you want to go to Moscow, you always ask yourself where to stay in Moscow. So today we are going to discuss the top opportunities and the best spots where you can stay and integrate a little bit into the areas where the hotels are located. And we will start with Hotel National. It was established in 1903 as one of the top hotels for the royals. For example, most of the relatives of Nicholas II, they stayed there. And in nationals, they still have the furniture from Nicholas II. So you really? can be really lucky and have a room with, the, with some of the furniture so from him. It's just blind chance. I, can, I cannot order a room with his furniture. Actually, they have uh, different rooms. They have rooms which are called the presidential. And it, it was the room where president used to stay. And this room, of course, is the most expensive one. So it will be, uh, of course, more than $300 per night, which is a middle range for the hotel. OK. And I have seen uh, there is a mosaic just on top uh, of the corner of the hotel, which what, what represents? Yeah, so there is a mosaic which now represents the workers of the factories. So it's the proletariat, as you know, which mm -hmm. are proletariat is farmers and the factory workers. So these are both the like fundament for Soviet and for communism. So it was added later? It was added, so. that's right, it was added much later when revolution happened and before this was just a decorative element, it didn't represent proletariat, it was more having eclectic style for the royals. Okay, and I also heard there is some restaurant in the hotel that uh, I should visit me. There is one restaurant which is called Dr. Zhivaga and it specializes in Russian cuisine. So now you can try their, all the masterpieces by their their cooks. So a little bit about the interiors of the hotel. These are designed by famous Russian artists of end of 19th century, beginning of 20th century, and they were all worked in style called modern. So you'll find another hotel in this style, which is called the Hotel Metropole. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah? We'll talk about it later. Yeah. So okay. the price ranges. Yeah, yeah. price You've ranges. Maybe. Yeah, the price ranges in the national are approximately three hundred dollars per night Thanks. so this hotel is located just in the center of moscow it is the center of moscow so you just need to cross the road mahavaya and you will appear on the red square it's the perfect location for those of you who don't want to use any kind of public transport just want to appear in the center of all of the events in the center of the politics in the center of art so this will be red square and national hotel so Ritz Carlton is quite a new hotel. It was built only in 2000s. Before they had a very, very strange building there, the Hotel Interest. It was only made of concrete and just very, very plain architecture, nothing important about it. That's why government decided to demolish it and to build something new, something more suitable to the street, to general style of it. Okay good location because if you go up to the roof it has a very beautiful roof restaurant it's called lounge o2 and you will find their windows and you can see all of the attraction of moscow like san basil's cathedral red square you will also see christ the savior cathedral so everything actually worth visiting will be near is it in the same price range as national hotel it's even more expensive so oh. if you compare both hotels National will be historical one, it will have more history, but Ritz Carlton will be more fashionable one. Also I have heard there is some strange, really strange hotel just nearby the Ritz Red Square, even closer than National and Ritz Carlton. And it's like big and not really beautiful one. Tell me about it. I know what you're talking about. So, <laughs> hotel that is called Four Seasons now, but it used to be called Moscow. What's strange about it? It's facade, because it's facade, it's unproportional. You can see when you look, when you stay in front of it, that it has two sides, and one side has arches, more red parts, and another side is just very plain, so normal, ordinary windows. And there is a legend that the architect, he decided to create two different plants, and he brought them to Stalin, and he said, sign the one that you like more. But Stalin signed both of them. Oh. And this was the year, 1937, the year of repressions. So the architect was so scared that somehow it will touch him that he decided to build it 
as it was signed. But now it's, is it a good hotel or is it what? Tell it's me about it. actually, it's partly hotel and partly shopping center. Ah. So if you are in this hotel, you will be just in the same building where all of the fancy restaurants are located. Mm. And you can also shop for souvenirs, for clothing, for whatever you want, food as well, because it has supermarkets. But if you stay in Four Seasons, you probably don't need any kind of supermarkets because yeah, everything will be applied. So if you want to have red caviar with a Russian tea for breakfast and, and pancakes, bulini, so you would need to, to stay in Four Seasons. And they will black, serve it. Black caviar as well? I'm more interested I think in black caviar. Black caviar, it will be in Metropole. So Metropole? Four Seasons is a little bit little lower. Is, yeah? yeah, lower. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So in Four Seasons, they also have a very strict rules so you cannot actually have your guide waiting for you with a with a sign with a name plate and they have quite an organized structure so you will be this is the closest spot to the red square so if you wake up in the morning and you you go to the red square it will be empty it will yeah, be it no like tourists 45 seconds from your hotel right yeah if you are interested in the interiors they are not soviet so if you believe that the hotel has Soviet architecture, inside it's very modernistic. If okay. you want to stay in Soviet hotel, go to a hotel called Cosmos. It's, it's located oh on Bedenha. Don't go, don't go to Cosmos. But you know, it's a type of experience. So if you yeah, like... But the... you better go just book one, one night there, <laughs> have an experience. So to finish with the central area, we are going to mention Metropole. Metropole, okay. Yeah. I have seen, I have been there yesterday. And I have seen this mosaic. Can you tell me about them? There are some beautiful mosaics just on the facade. What yeah. are they? So Metropole is hugely decorated with the mosaics made by Vrubel. It's a famous Russian artist. And he, yeah, maybe you've heard about him. So he's famous for lilacs, paintings, and for stained glasses. And for being crazy. And for being crazy at the end of his life. So all of this hotel is created in the violet purple tones. It's very, very calm. It's very charming. And if you like to feel in the modern epoch, the end of 19th century, so you definitely should stay there because it gives a lot of feeling, a lot of you know, like interaction with the past. So this hotel outside and inside, it's very, very nice. And also, if you read the book, which is called Gentlemen in Moscow, it's a new book only like two years ago it was published. It's the uh, kind of a de de detective story about the man who was very rich, but then he appeared to be poor after the revolution. Uh -huh. He was settled in Metropole under home arrest, and he worked as a waiter there. Mm -hmm. So if you want to feel the charm of the, of the book and the past, and to remember some of the parts of the of the story, you, you should go there, definitely, and see the interiors. Yeah, okay, I'm interested, but how much will it cost me? So the prices are lower than in Ritz-Carlton. Uh -huh. The prices are approximately $250 for a night. So it's... Uh, also not for students, not for the people who travel in bed and breakfast, but, but if you want to feel old Russia, pre-revolutionary Russia, it's the one for you. Okay, and it's just nearby which attractions I want to know? It's, it's located between Lubanka Station and Akhotnirad, so it's between Red Square and uh, Bolshoi Theater. So it's in a very, very theatrical area. You will find small theater for drama just in front of your windows, Bolshoi, the theater of the academical. Also, I guess, just in front of your windows. We are now moving to a different area, the area which is called Zamosko Rechi, which means behind the Moscow River. Okay. So this area was more for the uh, top high ranks of the society. So it's, it was for those, for artists, for the wealthy merchants, for, for the patron, patrons of art, mm -hmm. and the tr famous Tretikov Gallery is located there. Mm. So actually we have one of the hotels which is called Balchuk Kempinski. That was a place where all of the artists rented their flats. Mm. So they re rented their apartments from this hotel. And still it has a very, very privileged location with a view right on the Kremlin, on the presidential administration building. Can you tell me about prices? So the prices in Balchuk Kibinski are the same as in Ritz-Carlton because it's 
one of the top hotels of Moscow. Mm -hmm. If you are in, in Bolshevikovinsky and a closed area near Tretyakov Gallery, so you can just uh, feel casual and go to any restaurant and order whatever you want. You don't need to behave. And if you are for a more, you know, like chilling atmosphere, you, you should go there. Okay. And tell me about uh, how long will it take me to walk to Kremlin if I can walk? So the Balchuk Kempinski is located just in front of the uh, St. Basil's, in front of the Red Square. Mm -hmm. So you just need to cro cl cross the bridge uh, of Moscow River and you will appear there. So it will take maybe four minutes and you will be s straight to the uh, St. Basil's. Okay, so should we finish with city center? Yeah, we are finished with city center, so now we are moving Moscow City. This is a new area which was built only in the beginning of 2000 and it's still under construction. Yeah. This is area for Moscow downtown, for main businesses, for main offices and the banks. So they have a lot of high-rise buildings, a lot of skyscrapers. And we are talking about the Hotel Novotel. It has four stars and it will be the perfect spot for those of you who are traveling on business purposes because here they will have uh, Expo Center, World Trade Center and a lot and a lot of the business opportunities. And I also heard they have some ice skating rink in one of the skyscrapers? Yeah, in the skyscrapers they have a lot of interesting things like for example the viewpoint from the floor 200 and the skating rink in the winter time Oh, and also the sports club, of course, yeah, of course. And at the at the summertime, they have a rooftop restaurant there. Oh, okay. And they they also have a helipad, so you can oh. actually do a flight over Moscow on a helicopter from this spot, from Moscow City. Cool. So this is a great but opportunity. I, I heard it's quite far from the city center itself, like yeah. the historical. Yeah. yeah. So this new business center, of course, it, it is. Uh, it was decided to be built far from the city center, not to spoil the views. And it's approximately five to seven kilometers from the city center. What is... Uh, I don't care for kilometers, but I care for time. Tell me yeah. in time. <laughs> so you can use the light blue line, it's a new line, and it will take you approximately 20 minutes to reach... Okay, then tell me about the price. So the pricing in Novotel is pretty good because it's only $100 per night. Mm -hmm. If you compare with the rest of the hotels in our in our compilation, this would be the cheapest of all. Yeah. Okay, so should we finish here? Yeah, so we are going to finish here. Yeah. Thank you bye for bye, watching. Everybody. Join our tours in yeah, friendlylocalguides.com <laughs> Or just friendlylocalguides at TripAdvisor. Yeah. It's this uh, Kate and Nikita. It is Kate Nikita. and Nikita. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. See you in Moscow.